good evening. Um, I promised that I would uh, do another video on my mom's birthday, which happens to be today. Um, I had to work all weekend, so um, I haven't really rested like the doctor had told me to do, so I'm still a little sniffly, cough, and runny nose, so if you see me kind of grab a tissue or something, just please ignore me. Um, so it is my mom's birthday, so happy birthday, mom. Um, now, not too long ago, I asked my mom to do something very difficult, um, something that, um, I know that nobody in my family has asked her to do, meaning my brother or I, um, and I asked her to write about her experience, um, as a child going through the cancer. Um, this is actually my third attempt at making this video, so... I'm going to sum it up, and if you see me looking down, I'm looking at the email that she had wrote me. Um, she says that she was nine years old, and they thought that she had the mumps, um, but after testing, she they found out that it wasn't the mumps. Um, what they did find out is that she had embryonal ribdomyosarcoma, um, a rare type of cancer. She was taken to Buffalo. Um, and she went through extensive testing and taken into surgery where they removed the cancer. Um, it had spread from her lower, the, the, the library? Whatever, your spit, gland, um, on the left side of the jaw and to the inside of her cheek and the lymph nodes in her neck. Um, my grandparents were getting ready for the worst as this cancer had a 1 in 500 survival rate, and even then it would be less um, for ever living further than just a few years after they removed the cancer. Um, she says, and these are her words now, For those of you who do not understand, this was hell on my parents, and the years to follow on me. Nobody ever told me what I had just that I had to have these treatments of chemotherapy, which consisted of an injection into a vein weekly, and every two months, every day for a week, and radiation once or twice a week in Buffalo. Um, we lived about four hours away, so this was a very big trip for my family. Um, she also had weekly blood work done to see how many blood cells or how the blood cells were handling the chemo and the radiation. She says after the year of chemotherapy and the radiation was over, I was allowed to return to school. My friends were great and treated me like I never left, even though I had a bandage on my cheek covering a hole in it from the removal of the cancer. And I looked a lot different in this respect. Being that I was from a small town, everyone knew everyone, and everyone supported my mom and dad and our family. Life was a living hell for me from that point on. If you can imagine a young girl about to reach puberty being different from the rest, and the pain and torture a person goes through, let alone a child, you're not even a human being. How would you feel having someone stick a needle in your arm, or wherever they could get a vein to give you medicine? or take blood at least twice a week, let alone being away from your family, friends, and leaving a normal life, and looking normal to coming home, feeling abused, tortured, and looking deformed. I was never insecure or really cared about my looks, though, and did everything I used to do, and if people didn't like that, it was too bad. My mom is a very strong person, and, and for that I definitely admire her. <clears throat> She says that when she was 18, she read the chart herself while waiting for the doctor to come in, and she found what kind of um, disease that she had. She says, I looked it up in a medical dictionary and then found out how seriously sick I was. The type of cancer I had was very rare. Okay. I'm sorry, it's... it's actually extremely hard for me to read this. Um, the very first time I read it, I, I didn't think I could make it through it either. Um, she says, 
I think going through this made me stronger, made me a stronger and better person. But at the time, it was like I said above, a living hell. The chemo and radiation and being sick from it occasionally, not seeing my friends or going to school, losing all my, oh, all of her hearing for almost three years afterward. Oh, I'm sorry. She meant to put tight hair. It must have been autocorrect or something. So she lost her hair for three years. She says, which was the worst thing for me, and I think nobody touches my hair. Scars from the surgery and chemo. When just a drop of chemo landed on my skin at the injection site, literally burning it on contact. Not being able to go in the sun for a year without a hat. And being treated different throughout my life ever since. Again, this next paragraph I'm reading word for word. <clears throat> there are still a ton of kids out there suffering from cancer and other childhood diseases. But unless you actually know or have someone you know going through something like this, there are no words to s describe how it is. Kids try to be strong because they don't want their parents to be worried or sad. So even in the deepest, darkest moments, you hide your true feelings and emotions. And when you want to scream from the pain or torture that's being shoved at you, you just smile and say, it's okay, it doesn't really hurt. And let it go inside you to a dark hole and stay there forever, thinking, never thinking about it again. So as you can imagine, this was extremely difficult for my mom to write um, and extremely difficult for me to read. Um, she supports me in shaving my head and raising money for childhood cancer because she's been through it. Um, I, I want to say at this time that there's a lot of cancers that are going around, breast cancer, um, cervical cancer, um, just to name a couple that are on top of my head. Um, but to be a child and, and go through this, I, I can't even imagine how more, more, much more difficult it is. Um, so I will post the link below this video, um, for my St. Baldrick's account. Um, at this time I've raised $325. My goal is to reach 2000 um, I am posting videos as often as I can, and I have a, the next couple sort of planned out, and you should be amused. Um, but other than that, um, happy birthday to my mommy, and I will post another video soon. Thanks.